Okay, we're up to C. Let's start off with a few sports. Cricket, canoeing, cycling, curling, curling, uh, crunches, uh, croquet, croquet, uh, crossfit, um, and some might even include chess in here as a, a sport stroke game. Um, but C's in recruitment are essential. And of course, we need clients, we need candidates, we need colleagues, but we also need consistency. We need control, we need collaboration, and of course, we need cooperation. I could be a bit silly here and say that C's also stands for seizing the opportunities, but I'm not gonna do that. In truth, a lot of people in sports they do need to collaborate. They collaborate with their coaching staff. They collaborate with their team. And I think this is important for us to do in recruitment. You shouldn't always feel as if you're alone. Recruiters should be using the strategy of the chess masters, the precision of the curler, and the relentless pursuit of the people on the cycling track in, in the velodromes, but also the ability to do, adapt to different conditions as cricketers do with different wickets and, and, and weather conditions. And a lot of sports require you to have another C, and that's a strong C. You need to have a strong core, apart from maybe the chess players because they're mostly sitting down for a lot of the time. Having core strength provides you with stability. It helps you to control. It helps you control your movement, helps to control the process. And yes, despite what some people say in recruitment, we do need to try and control the candidates and the client, the process and the diaries. But the trick here is for them not to feel as if they're being controlled. And this is where you need to be canny. Now, canny is about being shrewd. It's about showing good judgment when it comes to business matters. And in order to show good judgment, you need to have clarity. There will be times that you will get bowled out for a duck or you might fall off your bike or you might lose your paddle. But successful people, in fact, some successful people, they become coaches, they become managers. And why? Because they have credentials, they have credibility, they have, they have what it takes to be successful or at least they know what it takes to be successful. And I think in recruitment, we have to demonstrate credibility. Credibility through the questions we ask, through the knowledge that we share about our market, about our candidates and about our clients. And the important thing here is yes, to seize every opportunity, to control what can be controlled, to collaborate, to demonstrate and continually build credibility within your marketplace and consistently be a champion within your chosen field. And above all, be confident in what you do. And then you can celebrate as only you can. See you on the Ds.